In Business Central, payments received from customers are recorded in the cash receipt journal, which in turn can post to the general ledger, bank, customer, vendor, and fixed asset accounts. I'll show you how to enter payments in the journal. We'll need to first go to the cash receipt journal. The batch I currently have selected, if we drill down into here, is one that has a bank account as the balancing account. On the journal itself, we'll enter our first line. Our posting date is filled in. However, that can be adjusted to match whatever it, you need it to be. Our document type is a payment and our account type is customer as we're recording a payment directly from a specific customer. In the account number field, we'll specify who it is that has paid the money. In this case, it'll be our customer, 20,000 Selangorian. We can also apply these payments to their related entries in this journal or apply them at a later point after posting. Applying payments is how we can close customer ledger entries and also, as users, identify whether a customer has paid their part or not. So if we look right here to the applies to document number field and drill down into it, we can see all the currently open invoices for this customer. From this list, we can select the invoice that we'd like to apply the payment to by selecting it. We'll use this one here and hitting OK. You may notice now that the invoice has been populated on the line in the uh, applies to document number field, as well as the amount on the journal with the exact value. Convenient as this is, this has its drawbacks as this designates just one line for one order, one invoice. If we have a customer that has paid multiple invoices in a single payment, we can use an alternate method. If we enter a second line, and in this case, we will use our customer 10,000, the Canon Group. This time, instead of going for the applies to document number as we did before, we'll go to process and apply entries. This gives us a similar window of available open invoices to apply a payment to. We can select multiple lines here if we select this one using select more and we'll take these two as well. After selecting the invoices that the customer intended to pay, we can go to process at the top here and set applies to ID. And Business Central will automatically assign an applies to ID for each line. Note that the applies to ID is the document number that is used on the associated journal line. When we're happy with how the balances and the amounts look below here, we can hit OK and we can continue on with posting the journal as is necessary.